Hi, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, let's quickly address the elephant in the room here, and that's that network radio is not real radio. Well, you're right, it's not real radio in the terms that us ham radio operators understand. However, there are many great reasons why you should still have something like this to hand, especially if you're an upcoming ham radio user who just wants to learn the format of making a QSO and you don't have a license. Now, the whole argument of whether network radio is a good or bad thing for the hobby could make a really long video. So let's just move on from that. And let me show you something which has actually ignited a little spark of interest for me in network radio. So up until now, many network radio users would have used Zello as that was the go-to application for network communication. However, with the introduction of this new TalkPod N58 Plus radio, TalkPod have also released a virtual amateur radio application. And while it appears to be Zello supported, the look and feel of this application makes it look like a real radio. So instead of having Zello rooms or channels, this app uses a channel name format that resembles a frequency from VHF or UHF. Now we'll go over the app in more details in a moment, but let's first take a look at the actual N58 Plus hardware. Now on the top, the antenna is actually for Wi-Fi and cell service, as you can install a mobile phone SIM into this radio. Also on the top, there's an on and off rotary control, which also adjusts the volume. And there's also a rotary control for changing channels or memories. Down the left side, you'll find three buttons. Now that top larger button has been assigned as a PTT button, which is push to talk, which is used to activate the virtual transmit. And then there's a couple of other function buttons which can be user programmed. Now down the right side, there's a Kenwood style speaker mic socket. Now the SIM card slot and memory expansion via micro SD card can be found under this little plate that's on the rear of the radio under the battery. Now this is held in by four small screws and you will need a screwdriver to get access to them. Now turning on the TalkPod N58 Plus, we can see that this version I have has Android 9 installed. Now I got this radio last October, so nearly a year ago. However, there was a delay in showing this product as the virtual amateur software was just not ready at the time. The current specifications for this device on the TalkPod website actually states that the virtual radio app will come pre-installed. However, if it doesn't, then you need to download it. Once the device is booted up, you'll need an internet connection. Now you can either use an internet connection via an installed cell phone SIM card, or you can use the Wi-Fi feature and connect to your local Wi-Fi connection. Now this is Android, so it's the same procedure to connect to a Wi-Fi connection as you would on any Android mobile phone or tablet. Once you have an internet connection, go through the apps and look for an app called PTT Store. Now in the search box, type link poon, all in one word, and out of the two selections, choose the ham version. Now this may take a few minutes to download, but once downloaded and installed, you can then run it. The app will self-register with the link poon servers and you'll be ready to go. However, I would recommend changing the given username to something better so that others can identify you. Ham radio users typically would use their call sign. Now as a side note here, and if you saw my last video, then you would have noticed that I was using this application on another type of Android device, not even made by TalkPod. Now this means that the virtual amateur application can be installed on nearly any Android device, even a mobile phone. Obviously you won't have PTT Store app on any other Android device, so there's actually an APK available to download and I'll leave a link in the video description of where you can download it from. Now, when you start the application and it registers, you'll notice it emulates having two VFOs, the top one being VFO A, and it has a virtual frequency set to 438.500. Now, this is kind of like the default channel, which all applications have to start with. You can even see a little numeric value which shows how many other users are connected to this channel. So if you got this far, then just go ahead, make a call and see if anybody answers you. So now we can actually add our own channels. So first you give it a name and then a virtual frequency. You can assign a group channel to a VFO either by selecting it from the group list or you can use the rotary channel change control which is located on the top of the radio. 
Now, another cool feature, if enabled, is the ability to see the location of all other users on a map. Now, this feature uses GPS and Wi-Fi to locate your position. Of course, you can turn this off if you want to. Now, apparently, there's also a text messaging feature available, but I've not tested that as of yet. Now, if you have this already, then try sending a message to me at my call sign, M0DQW. Now, using my other Android device, I did make a contact with Andreas M0FXB, who incidentally also has a YouTube channel with lots of interesting short videos covering a range of topics. Now go over to his channel after watching this video and leave a comment on his latest one and say that Tech Minds sent you. I wonder if anybody's uh, able to tell me if uh, if you can hear me. Hopefully the audio is working okay. If anyone can tell me that you can hear me. This is Matt, M0DQW. Hi Matt, it's Andreas, M0FXB. Actually just watching your video as I, as I assemble the um, Herms Light 2. Back to you. Now, there's also a Facebook page dedicated to the TalkPod N58 Plus, which contains lots of useful information. Now, this is not run by TalkPod, but rather a radio enthusiast who wanted a central location we can all share our experiences. You'll also find lists of channels and frequencies that other users have created. So pop over there, grab all those frequencies and program them into your TalkPod N58 Plus. I'm sure you'll be able to find someone to chat to and not even in English. I think there's even a dedicated Spanish channel. Anyway, guys, I'll leave a link down in the video description of where you can buy the N58 Plus from. And if you don't want to buy the radio and just want to actually use the virtual amateur application, there's also going to be the link for that as well if you just want to download the APK and install it manually. Until the next video, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one.